Hey guys, welcome to your singles love reading for Taurus. This is going to be for your September 2024. You can apply this to your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. So we are going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love, okay? What your blocks and challenges are in love. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, if there's anyone new coming in for you guys. So apply this to your own unique situations. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your replacements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective... Um, Taurus people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So, tell me about Taurus here. Single Taurus in love. What's going on with single Taurus in love? What are their blocks and challenges in love for September 2024? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Taurus. For Taurus. We have the Six of Cups. I feel like one of the blocks and challenges is that someone here is missing you a lot. Or that you could be missing someone from your past here. Yeah, someone here could be just hung up on their ex. Yeah, Seven of Cups here. Someone here is fantasizing, romanticizing about an ex here. So I feel like someone here is having a hard time letting go of an ex, basically. We have the Six of Cups. We have the Seven of Cups here. We also have the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We also have the Ace of Wands. I feel like some here is looking for a passionate new beginning with an ex here. That is a thing. The problem is I feel like you haven't really truly accepted that this person is a liar, liar, pants on fire here. Okay, this person has a tendency to explore other options here. And I feel like, you know, with the Empress card here, I feel like you deserve better. You know, I just feel like you deserve safe love, true love here. I mean, it could be an indication that someone here is in love with you. You know, maybe you're still in love with somebody here, but, you know, there's a sense of someone here having a hard time letting go of an ex here. Tell me about the Six of Cups. Why is the Six of Cups here? With the Knight of Swords, yeah, someone from your past is coming back around. I do feel like someone here is coming back around to sort of like reconcile here with you, but I feel like you yourself has changed as a person here. You yourself has leveled up, has glowed up here. And I feel like, you know, your feelings towards this person has completely changed for them. But for them, it hasn't really changed for you. You know, this person's very inconsistent, very in and out here. This person doesn't really think before they act. I feel like that was one of the problems that might have caused you guys to separate. Um, or that there was a lack of effort here. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles here. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Ace of Wands. And the Strength card. Yeah, I feel like you're trying to remain in your power here. Um, I do feel like, you know, an ex is sort of like, you know, still latched onto you. Yeah, I do feel like there could be some sort of energetic cord that still could be tied to you that's keeping you from moving on. Uh, perhaps you guys are working on cutting those cords. You guys are working on chipping away those cords and, and trying to move on from this individual. But I do feel like whoever this is, this is an individual that's definitely trying to sneak back into your life where you don't even trust this individual here. With the King of Pentacles and the Four of Wands here. With the King to the Queen of Pentacles. True pair. True pair. I, I do feel like you, you know, I do feel like you have levels up and glowed up and I feel like you don't want this person, but this person still wants you. Tell me more about Taurus. What else do we have here for Taurus? What else does Taurus need to know, look out for, work on? Is there anyone new coming in for single Taurus here for September 2024? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for single Taurus. So we have Judgment here in the Six of Wands. Some here is taking no for an answer, basically. Yeah, some here is taking no for an answer. They're doing everything that they can to convince you to start this connection back up, reignite this connection here. King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. I feel like this person can be a bit can be a bit pushy. This person can be a bit of a bully here too. 
I feel like this person is going to make you feel guilty for not accepting their reconciliation or their offer here. And I feel like it's not going to work. Yeah, I feel like it's not going to work. You know, for you, you're kind of like, no, you know, the death card, you're over this. This is an ending that you decided that you're just going to stick to your decision here. You're going to distance yourself from this individual. You're going to work on yourself, you know. Um, yeah, I do feel like with the Wheel of Fortune here, yeah, this person's coming back around. This person's also coming back angry, you know, ready to fight, ready to argue here. I feel like for this person, I feel like everything is an argument for this person. You know, any sort of discussion that you have with this person here ends up in the argument or that you're trying to attack them here. I just feel like the situation, it just doesn't really... You, I just feel like you guys are just, uh, or that this person's just not really ready to resolve anything here with you. With a ton of swords and a judgment card and a ton of pentacles. <clears throat> I do feel like this person betrayed you with other options here. And this is an ongoing thing. Like I said, you know, you might not be caring about whatever this person does here, but, you know, this person's still sort of holding on to you. You know, and I feel like as this person still latches on to you, it kind of, kind of like it might be difficult to bring in new energy because this person's energy is still present. So I feel like also like energetically, you have to work on cutting those cords with this individual here too. The lovers and the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the King of Swords here, and also we have the Five of Pentacles. Some here is feeling very lonely without you here. Yeah, some here is feeling very lonely without you. This person might be very codependent. Yeah. That's like one of those things I feel like this person can't do anything on their own. Yeah, the death card. And the three of swords, the hermit. And the higher fit here. Yeah, so Taurus, I feel like you're focusing on your healing here. You're focusing on healing that broken heart at this time here. I just feel like you just don't have any time uh, or any energy to deal with this person here. You know, I just feel like you're totally done with this. You know, one of the things I'm also getting in here as I'm reading, you know, as I'm kind of like picking up energy here, I feel I just, just feel like this person is giving you like a headache. Yeah. I just feel like this person's energy is just really overwhelming for you. Um, we have the Temperance card, Sagittarius energy, and also we have the Nine of Cups. Yeah, I just feel like you're focusing on your healing, you're focusing on your happiness here, okay? Um, you know, I feel like you guys are also, at the same time, Taurus, you guys are also enjoying your freedom here too. Yeah, like your freedom from this individual. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. With the five of swords, you know, I just feel like you just don't want to play games with this individual. I don't want to, I feel like you don't want to play into this person's games. Uh, you know, I do, do feel like, you know, whatever this person's offering you or whatever this person's trying to accomplish here, it's just not really going to work here. You just know that this person's just not reliable. With the five of swords here and the knight of wands, you just know that you're wasting your time with this individual and it's better just to keep no contact going here if you have implemented no contact or that you see this person as somebody here who's very immature here Taurus yeah so Taurus um, I do believe that someone here is coming back around trying to pressure you into getting back together with them and like I said I feel like this person is going to take no for an answer okay uh, or that the or that the answer that you're giving them no is not going to sit well with them so Taurus, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.